<coughs> Dear friends, today we are going to discuss about how to calculate wood section for doors, tiling, painting, and plaster area. It's a civil conclave presentation. See, this is a 3D images of the area for which we are going to calculate the plaster area. See, this is a drawing. The dimension has been given 12.2 meter by 3.2 meter. All the room sizes have been provided. Where the doors are coming and what is the door area, everything has been mentioned in this drawing. Door size, that is 1 meter by 2.1 meter. Window size, 1 meter, 1.2 meter by 1.5 meter. Plaster thickness is 0.2 mm. Plastering calculation. Plastering area, internal area. Internal dimension of the bedroom, 1 is equal to length is equal to 4.6 meter. Breadth is equal to 3.6 meter. Depth is equal to 3 meter. So internal area of the bedroom will be length into breadth, whole multiplied by 2 into depth square meter. That means 4.6 plus 3.6, whole multiplied by 2 into 3, that is 49. square meter. Internal deduction. Door, 1 by 2.1, 2.1 m square. Door 2, 0.9 into 2.1, 1.89 square meter. Window, 1.2 by 1.5, 1.8 square. So total area is equal to internal area is equal to internal area minus doors and windows areas. That is 49.2 minus 2.1 minus 1.89 minus 1.8 minus 1. Point, that means 41.61 square meter external dimension area length is 12.2 meter breadth is 4 meter depth is 3.15 meter external area is equal to 12.2 plus 4 whole multiplied by 2 into 3.15 is equal to 102.06 square meter external deduction okay door area will be 2.1 m square Windows will be 1.8 m square. Ventilator, that is a 0.9 by 0.4 meter, that is 0.36 square meter. Total external area is equal to external area minus doors and windows areas will make you 89.94 square meter. Total plastering area, internal plus external area will be 241.32 plus 210.663 will make you 451.99 square meter. Total thickness of the plaster will be 20 m. First coat, that is a cement ratio 1 is to 6. Thickness of the plaster will be 12 mm. Okay, or unless 0 0.0012 meter. Volume of plaster. Total area of plaster into thickness of the plaster. That is volume of 12 millimeter will be 451.986 into 0.0012 is equal to 5.423 cubic meter. According to the standards, for 1 cube cm with ratio 1 is to 6, sand is equal to 1.25 m cube, cement is equal to 300 kg, sand for 5 for meter cube means that is 54423 into 1.25 that will be 6.779 cubic meter. Simon for 5 more square meter will be 5.46 into 300 that is 1629 1626.9 kgs. Other words it is 1638 kgs. That means 1638 divided by 50 will make so 33 bags. Second coat, that is the final coat with a 1 is to 7 ratio. Thickness will be 8 mm. Volume of the plaster will be 451.986 into 0 0.008, 3.615 cubic meter. According to the sand of 1, 1 is to 3 will be 1.25 cubic meter. Cement will be 600 kg. Sand 3.615 
into 1.25 that is 4.519 cubic meter okay cement 364 3.64 cubic meter is equal to 3.615 into 600 cement will be 2169.532 kgs number of bags will be 43.39 say 44 bags total sand will be 6. Point, that is 6.779 plus 4.519 will make you 11.2 9 cubic meter. Total cement in bags will be 33 plus 44 will be 77 bags. Wall putty. Suppose if you are applying the wall putty in the internal area, what will be the thickness? The thickness will be 3 millimeter. Area of the wall putty will be bedroom 1, 4.6 plus 3.6, whole multiplied by 2 into 3 will be 49.82. Bedroom 2, Wall putty area 49 uh, that is 49.8 square meter. So total wall putty area will be 99 square meter. Deductions, doors and windows. Okay. That means 99 minus 2.1 minus 1.89 minus 1.8 minus 1.8 minus 2.1 minus 1.89 minus 1.88 minus 1.8. That is 83.82 square meter. Volume of wall putty will be total area into thickness of the labor. 83.82 into 0 0.003 m cube will be 251 m cube. Weight of wall putty per cubic meter will be 849 kg. That means one cubic meter is equal to 849 kg. So 0.259, how many kgs? 0.251 into 841 will be 200 and 13.489 kgs. So we require a wall putty of 213.489 kgs. Available putty bags will be 5 kgs, 10 kgs, 20 kgs, and 40 kgs. Okay. Paint area, internal area. Internal dimension bedroom 1. Length is equal to 4.6, breadth is equal to 3.6, depth is equal to 3 meter. So internal area of the bedroom is equal to length plus bread whole multiplied by 2 into depth square meter that is 4.6 plus 3.6 whole multiplied by 2 into 3 that is 49.2 square meter internal deductions doors will be 1.89 square meter window will be 1.8 square meter so total internal area will be 41.61 square meter external area Total length will be 12.2, breadth will be 4 meter, depth will be 3.15 square meter. So, external area will be 12.2 plus 4, whole multiplied by 2 into 3.15, 102.6 m square. External deduction. Okay. Door area 1.8 square meter. Ventilator length will be 0.4 meter square meter. Ventilator area will be 0.36 square meter. Total external area will work out 89.494 square meter. According to standard, 1 liter of paint can cover 4.2 square meter area. So internal area that will be 124.44 divided by 4.2 will be 29.62. That is 30 liters. External paint that is uh, 327.546 divided by 4.2 will be 77.92, that is 78 liter. Now you see the four calculation. Here I given you all the colors, okay? Bedroom, bedroom, parking area, toilet one, toilet two, okay? Marble flooring will be in bedroom one and bathroom two. Wall cutting will be for bedroom one and bedroom two. Vitrify tiles for a tile, toilet one and toilet two. Ceramic tiles on dado, that is toilet one and toilet two. Paver block in the parking area. Now let us come to the marble area calculation. Bedroom one. For length is equal to 4.6, width is equal to 3.6. That means 16.56 square meter. Bedroom two. Length will be 4.7 meter, width will be 3.6 meter. That means 16.92 square meter area. Walls cutting. Bedroom one. Length will be 4.6. Width is 
3.6 meter wall cutting height is 0.15 meter so wall cutting area will be length plus width multiplied by 2 into height square meter that is 4.6 plus 3.6 whole multiplied by 2 into 0.15 square meter that is 2.46 square meter bedroom 2 bedroom 2 the same cutting dimension 2.49 square meter area vitrified tile calculation tile at 1 length is 2.1 meter width is equal to 1.7 meter so total tile area will be 2.1 into 1.7 will be 3.57 square meter tile at 2 length is 2.1 meter width is 1.7 meter so total area will be 1.7 into 2.1 will be 3.57 square meter area ceramic tiles that is in the dado tile at one length is 2.1 meter width is 1.7 meter height is 3 meter so wall area will be length plus width multiplied by 2 into depth that is 2.1 plus 1.7 whole multiplied by 2 into 3 will be 22.8 square meter. Tile at 2, the same formula which will make 22.8 square meter area. Interlock, paver block, you can see the reference drawings. From there, I cut it into four sections I provided you. Area 1, length will be 15.2 meter, width will be 3.2 meter. Area 1 will be 46.64 square meter. Area 2, will be 19 square meter area 3 6 square meter area 4 will be 80.4 square meter see all the drawings have been provided adjoiningly here walls cutting area door 1 length 1 meter depth is equal to 0.515 area is equal to length into depth in time square that is 0.15 square square meter door 2 okay 0.135 square meter. Bedroom 2, doors to be deducted. Door 1 will be 0.15 square meter area. Door 2 is equal to 0.135 square meter. So, wall tile in toilet. Door 0.9 meter. Height is 2.1 meter. Area is equal to 1.89 square meter. Ventilator will be 0.36 square meter. For the quantities of cement motor, how to do the calculation? Marble, 34.8 m square. Vitrify tile, 7.14 m square. Interlock tiles is 80.4 m square. Total will be 121.02. Cement with the ratio of 1 is to 8. Thickness of the motor is equal to 2 inches or a 50 mm. Volume of cement motor for a flooring area will be total area of a flooring into thickness of the cement motor. That is 121.02 into 0 0.05 m cube, 6.051 cubic meter. According to standard, for one cubic meter of cement motor, you require 1.25 CFT. Then for 6.05, what is the requirement? 6.05 into 1.25, 7.563 cubic meter. Seven for 1 cubic meter will be 225 kg. Then for 6.051 cubic meter, we require 1361 kgs. One bag of cement is 50 kg. Hence, the number of bags is required 1361.47 divided by 50 will be 27.22, approximately 28 bags. Calculation for required bags and skirting and wall tiles. Okay. 10 mm or a 0.1. Area of marble skirting 4.95 square meter. Area of wall tile is 41.1 square meter. Total area 46.05 square meter. Volume of the cement 46.05 into 0.1, that is 0.46 cubic meter. For 1 cubic meter of a cement, 1440 kgs for 0.46 mq that is 0.46 into 1440 that is 664.4 kg number of bags is required 664 662.4 divided by 50 
will be 14 bags approximately. See here, some of the images of the doors which I showed to you. This is a door shutter, door frame, window frame, all drop, door eye, door handle, door lock, rubber stopper, door stopper, hinges, tower bolt, window grill, and metal gate. Wood calculation for doors and windows. Tick wood, very expensive, used for doors and windows. Sal wood, used for door frames. Flush wood, cheaper, used for door shutter. Plywood, economical, used for wardrobe, shelves, and cupboards. Nova pond, cheaper, used for tables and chairs. Okay? Rubber wood, cheaper but not recommended as it's had an expansion and a contraction. Here, some of the images of the frame with a salt wood, door shutter, window shutter has been shown. Find the cost of the door 3 feet is 6 inches by 7 feet along with the door frame. If number of doors 6 and section of door frame is 3 inches by 3 inches. Rate. Door frame is 2,600 rupees and for shutter rate will be 110 rupees. Door frame. Okay. Size of the door is 3 feet 6 inches by 7 inches with a section of 3 inches by 3 6 inches. 2,600 rupees. Number of door frames will be 6 and the cost of the frame will be 15,600. Door shutters. Okay. Height of the door shutter will be 2916 divided by 22 by 25 square meter. For shutter rate given will be 110 square feet. So, the cost of the six shutters will be 110 into 20.25 into 6 will be 13,365. So, total cost of door frames and shutters will be 15,600 plus 13,365 is equal to 28,965. Cost of window sizes. Okay, the same methodology. Now, paint calculation. Primer paint, whitewash. Is applied on a plaster area before applying emulsion paint to the walls. Standard. One liter of prime paint will cover 40 square feet of an area. For an area of 6,500 square feet, how many liters primer is required? One liter primer will cover 40 square meter. Okay, 40 feet square. One liter is equal to 6,500 feet square. That means 6,500 divided by 40 will be 162.5 liter. Each bucket of primer paint is 20 liter. Cost of each bucket is 3,000 rupees. Number of primer bucket required. Is equal to required primer in liters divided by primer in each bucket. That is 162.5 divided by 12, 20. That means 8.125 or approximately 9 per primer bucket required. Cost will be 3000 into 9, 27,900. Type of paint emulsion paint or water board paint in a plastering area, enamel paint or a Bond paint used for doors and windows. Standard for double coat paint. One liter emulsion paint will cover 4.2 square meter or a 45 square foot of area. One liter enamel paint will cover 4.5 square meter or 50 square feet. Okay. Price of external emulsion paint is expensive. Price of internal paint is economical. From the given plan, you calculate uh, the painting quantity. Okay, thickness of the slab is six inches, height of ceiling is 10 feet, size of the door three feet by six inches, seven inches, external wall nine inches, internal wall thicknesses. Now, ceiling area, room one, length and breadth 13 into 10.8 is equal to 13 into 10.666, that is 138.658 square feet of area. Room number 2, 11.4 into 10.8, that means 11.333 into 10.666, 120.877 square foot of area. Wall surface, room 1, length into depth, 
that is 47.332 into 10 is equal to 473.32 square feet. Height of ceiling is 10 feet. So, periphery length of the wall will be length plus blur multiplied by 2 into 13 plus 10.666 into 2 that is 47.333 feet m square. Room number length and breadth 43.998 into 10 that is 439. Height of ceiling is 10 feet. Ferry perigal length will be 43.998 square feet. Deduction for door area okay 3 feet 6 inches into 7 feet into 2 is equal to 3.5 into 7 into 2 49 square feet. Total internal paint area 138.658 plus 120.877 plus 473.32 plus 439.92 minus 49. That is 1123835. Okay. According to the standard, 1 liter of immersion paint covers 45 square meter. Okay. That means for 11 point 1123 square feet, how many liter is required? 1123.835 divided by 45. That is 24.974, which is equal to 25 liter. Cost will be 160 rupees. So amount required 160 into 25, 4,500 rupees. External emulsion paint. Length into breadth into 2. External painting area, L by depth. 26.333 plus 12.166 whole multiplied by 2 will be 76.998 multiplied by the height that is 10 feet 6 inches will be 76.998 feet or 8808479 square feet the total area okay deduction of the door area will be 49 square feet so, total external painting area, total area minus deduction will give you 759.4759. According to standard, 1 liter emulsion paint will cover 45 square feet. So, 45 square feet is equal to 1 liter. 759.479, how many liter is required? 759.47 divided by 45, 16.8877. That means approximately 17 liter. Cost 180 rupees. So total cost is required 118 into 17, 3060 rupees. Enamel paint for doors. That is 3 feet 6 inches into 7 inches. Number of doors will give you 98 square feet of area. 1 liter enamel cover 50 square feet of area. For 98 square meter, how many liters is required? 98 divided by 50, that is 1.96. So let us say 2 liter. Rate will be 170 rupees. So the cost will be 170 into 2, that is 340 is a square feet area. Okay. This is the methodology of calculating the painting area. Thank you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe, like, and share, which will motivate me for a further good presentation. In case of any queries, do not hesitate to write to me. The response shall be at the earliest. You can contact me at civilconclave.gmail.com or at my telegram group, Civil Conclave Telegram group. The link has been provided below. Thank you for watching this presentation. Kindly subscribe and like. Thank you.